What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a hefty vlog. Um, just kind of a few days jumbled together on my days off as a labor and delivery nurse and plus being almost 24 weeks pregnant. There's just been a lot going on and lots happening but today I'm going to be meal prepping and getting some food ready to go for my husband and I for work. So I am trying out this new Nakano knife I believe it's pronounced. Um, but it, you guys, cuts like butter. I was actually a little nervous at sometimes because like you barely have to put any pressure and it just glides right through anything and just cuts really well. So I'm going to be trying that out today and seeing how I like it. But this is actually a childhood favorite of mine. It's a meal that my mom used to make all the time. It's super easy and it's probably with ingredients that you already have around your house. So I'm just cutting up some bell pepper. You're gonna need some summer sausage, some jasmine or white rice, corn, and then just like seasonings of your choice. But it's just stuff that you can toss all together um, if you're on a budget or if you don't have like much left in your house and you just need like a quick easy meal. Um, this is something that we go to that is super quick and just easy for us. But I don't know if you guys saw, but that knife cut through that plastic for that sausage, like nothing. So this knife works so good. It's really, really nice. And if you guys want to check it out, I will have it linked down in my description box for you guys. I do have a discount code if you guys want to um, purchase one and get a little money off. That's totally up to you. It's down in the description if you're interested. That kept me safe from danger I'm no longer a remainder Want to return the favor You tell me I don't need to I'm set free from misbehavior Now I start to realize Your grace brings me to life No longer I believe all of these lies I come to all my senses Drop down all my defenses In you I am redeemed Now I believe, now I believe Something's missing in my So once you have everything cooked up, your beef summer sausage, corn, and bell pepper, you can add seasonings of your choice. Make sure your rice is nice and done. You're going to add your butter if you want more flavor and then just combine everything into a bigger bowl. And you guys, this is so simple and it's actually really filling and good for family friendly meals. So make it your next meal and let me know what you guys think. So I still have a small business that I run off social media and Etsy. I craft orders for healthcare workers, cups, shirts, all kinds of stuff. So I'm making a custom order here and then I'm going to um, work on a badge reel and ship that out as well. I couldn't see where I was going Had no end inside Cycles seem to keep on going. Victory wasn't on my side. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out my craft page. I post everything that I've like pretty much ever made on there. And it is listed in the description box. It's on my Instagram. It's called AV Creative Designs if you guys want to check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, so I thought about doing this part more of like a voice over or like um, like music over this part of the clip, but I thought I would just do it more like vlog style and just talk to you guys. I feel like I have been very busy and I haven't been able to upload videos as much as I would like. Um, and there's been a lot of things happening in my life. Um, I'm going to get ready for work here. Yes, it is currently 1.49. Um, I currently work night shift. Put my Apple Watch on. Um, it has been an adjustment because I work 5P to 5A, which isn't terrible. Um, but it hits at like 3 o'clock hour and you're just like, whoa. <laughs> like, you start like hallucinating and shit because you're like, I don't know if I'm just tired or... <laughs> but, um... It's been really good though. The environment's really good. Um, I like my coworkers. They're just really chill on third shift and I don't know. I just, you know, you're not around management and um, I don't know. It's just a different vibe, different experience. If you guys work night shift, you guys just know. Um, it's just different and it's a good different. I really like it. Um, it's just getting used to those hours is hard, but I really, really enjoy it just because I do feel like I have more days off in a row um, because on the days I work, I don't work till 5, but I get up at like, you know, noon, 1 o'clock, whatever, and I go do things and like, you know, grab lunch or go to the store or stop at the post office, have time to get gas or stop at the gas station for um, an energy drink or snacks or whatever the case may be, but... Um, I saved more money on day shift because I wasn't able to stop anywhere, but I love being able to just take my time getting ready and not rush because when I worked at 5am, excuse my disgusting hair as I brush this out, it's so tangled. This is like day three or four of not washing my hair, so <clears throat> I'm just going to run some things through my ends, just going to use some like argan oil run through my hair <clears throat> but anyway when I worked at 5 a.m. in the morning that was rough because you couldn't stop anywhere for coffee all the places were closed even like Starbucks and stuff so like I don't know if you don't bring your own coffee you're kind of screwed I mean you have the hospital coffee but I mean nobody wants hospital coffee I do have to say it's been a little harder because you're trying to stay up um, it's easier when you have patients but like when I don't have patients it's rough because um, I'm currently 23 weeks and two days pregnant and you can't really just keep drinking energy drinks but um, I do I do drink them um, a lot of the times I'll try to focus on the energy drinks that don't have as much caffeine like 80 milligrams or 160 versus some that have like 300 I don't like to do that much but um, I just don't like drinking them all the time. I only drink them like when I'm at work and trying to stay up till five o'clock in the morning, but uh, it's been rough. <clears throat> so I just feel like things are happening. I'm really close to delivering a baby um, and I'm terrified. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I'm a labor and delivery nurse, but still like just the thought of me pushing out a baby just ee, makes me really nervous. Um, I mean, I don't have like weeks left but I mean I have like only a couple months left and I don't know I'm nervous but we'll have our maternity leave then and baby will be here and just so many things are happening but um, our baby shower is going to be in a couple months too I did actually get a couple things off our registry already which was really nice my dad actually purchased my dream combo stroller um, Nuna, if you guys have ever heard of Nuna, which is like, um, more of a pricier brand, but it has lots and lots of good features for, like, convenience-wise, um, like, doing things one-handed, um, has really good safety features, the car seat you can use without a base, um, it's just overall, like, one of the best things that we could ever buy for our kiddo, so... Um, I did buy a new car. My car is literally the best thing ever. I got a Dodge Durango. It's a third row seat, just a lot more space for baby, and just like, 
I don't know. It's just it sits higher off the ground. My old car sat low, 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 low. And I was like breaking my back, just getting in and out of my car, like me being pregnant. So I can't even imagine like getting a car seat in and out of there. So that would have been terrible. So it's one of the main reasons I got uh, my new car. But she is pretty. I'm just not going to be used to the car payments because the car payments on my other car, I didn't have any because my car was paid off. I paid my car off because I had it for like 10 years, um, almost 10 years. <clears throat> so I definitely won't be used to a car payment, but she's really nice. She's cute. Lots of space for baby and just overall more durable. I feel like I'll be more safer in my car too just because... It's bigger and bulkier and just like, I don't know, I feel like if I got an accident in my old car, I'd be pretty screwed. But my new car, I feel like I would do more damage than the other person, so. But yeah. Also, just bought a new mattress. We've had the same mattress, a queen size mattress. Queen size mattress for 12 years, my husband and I. So... We finally decided to upgrade to a king and got a new like bed frame for it and I'm so excited. It's so cute. Definitely expensive but well worth the money. I feel like we're going to sleep like like heaven. Like oh, we're going to sleep so good. So as I was putting on my moisturizer, I noticed that my skin feels like sandpaper. So I don't want to wear a ton of makeup today. I don't want a lot on my face, don't want a lot of powder, just because it, like, makes my skin worse. Like, you can see things worse, like the flakes and stuff, so I'm just going to put a very tiny bit of foundation and concealer, just a wee bit, and then a little powder to set it, and then that's pretty much it that's going on my face. Then is out there doing yard work, so... If you guys hear that, <laughs> we're going to go to Costco to just pick up my dog's pills. My dog has cancer, if you guys don't know that. Um, I've shared a lot about it on social media. Not so much my YouTube channel, I don't think, but I share a lot about it like on my stories and stuff. Anyway, my poor basset hound has like a basketball-sized tumor on her side, and... Is just not doing the greatest. I don't know if she'll be here next year. Um, we'll see. I really don't want to put her down, but she is having a hard time with like walking and getting up and down stairs and like that type of stuff. So, not really something that we want to do, but if it's affecting like her way of living and her like everyday life, I don't want to like have her suffer either. So, Anyway, I have also purchased quite a few things for Baby and I, um, as far as like hospital stay and um, like when they do pictures, like normally like the day after you deliver, um, where I work at least, they have a photography service that will come in and like do pictures for you if you want them to. I mean, you have to pay for them, but I definitely am going to do them. I think they'll be so fun, so cute. I got my little peanut and I a matching outfit. So I got a robe for me, um, her coming home outfit with her name customized on it. And then it has a matching bow and a swaddle blanket. I'll have to show it to you guys. Down all my defenses In you I am returned 
out my lunch I made spaghetti and then had a side salad on the side and then my husband and I actually went outside for once and actually ate outside together I ate some leftovers from a meal that I cooked the other day and then he made this spaghetti that I made because he loves spaghetti so um, we ended up eating outside enjoying each other's presence before I had to work and it was actually really nice I ended up doing some dishes and cleaning up the house and then headed off to work and called it a day but if you guys made it this far into the vlog, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in watching future videos, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!